He said, have you got such sharp eyes? You know, microscopic or what eyes, you know, x-ray eyes that you can see all these things? He said, can you see something there? He said, no, I can't. He said, look, there's so much lighting here and you can't see that curtain there? What color, something written there? He said, no, I can't. So what he's telling to the judge, the guy's lying. He's a liar, he's a liar, he's a liar. Once you prove your case, he closes the case. And he asks for absolution with cost. Means the case must be thrown out and I'm going to get cost for all the trouble he has given me. And he'll get it. Now he said, look, but you know, what about that statement I said which was true? The, the court doesn't consider that. You see, you take what you can prove your case and the rest is said, look man, that is something that's got nothing to do with us. We prove to the world, we prove to you that you haven't got a leg to stand upon. This is my inheritance, this clause so and so reveres to me. For this reason, that reason, that reason. Close the case, the job is done. This is how you reason anything in life. And we do the same when it comes to religion. I was a Christian before, but now I have converted to Islam and I am at peace. I, I practice. I practice Islam very much and try my best to be a good Muslim. Before I converted to Islam, I was a gay. Now that I'm a Muslim, I still get feelings about other men. I try my best to avoid these feelings. How or what would you recommend me doing to totally void myself of homosexuality? Brother, I can't give you any easy solution. I can't give you a pill. I said, look, you take this pill and your problems will be over. You see, a lifetime of evil habit, it takes great effort, great sacrifice, you know, to control it, to curb it. The, what you need is good company and the company of Allah's kalam. You read this book of God with understanding. If you read it with understanding, you will find that Allah bari ta'ala, God Almighty is talking to you. And when you allow him to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you, his words will do the job for you. There is no easy way. I can't say that there is some easy way that as I said at the beginning, you take a pill or you take something, I give you a piece of paper with something written and put it on your neck and you will be, you know, solving this problem. I have no such easy solution. It's a battle and which you'll have to carry out. To the best of your sincerity, energy, you carry it out and I believe and I believe that God Almighty will help you in your effort to go straight. I hope so, inshallah. How can you explain the fact that so many Christians believe in the Bible as it is these days, although you claim that it contradicts itself and it's so obvious? Okay, how can you explain the fact that so many Christians believe in the Bible as it is these days, although you claim that it contradicts itself and it's so obvious? You see, brainwashing. <laughs> Brain. We all get brainwashed. See, last time when I came in 77, I was speaking to uh, students and professors in the University of Berkeley, San Francisco. And I said, you are all brainwashed. So one professor stood up and corrected me. He says, no, programmed. I said, I beg your pardon, programmed. We are all getting programmed. You see, we are all programmed from childhood into certain beliefs, certain attitudes. And if nobody comes along with a better understanding knowledge to reprogram you, to deprogram you, you remain there. Because he is like a drowning man. He's found something. You know, you say, look, this book can't help you. It is the spirit within you that has helped you. You have been an alcoholic all your life. And you are looking for a way out. You want somebody to help you. You know, you go home and you see your wife is terrified. You find the children are terrified. They're all getting out of your way. You know what's going on. You know, it's terrible. It's horrible. But what can you do? What can you do? You don't like it. But you are helpless. You are in the clutches of this devil, alcohol. 
And there comes along a person with a little charisma, and you know, he says, look, my thing can believe that Christ is there for you, he's done everything for you, he's paid for you. Emotionally, you are in a mood for change. You are like a drowning man, struggling to get out, to save yourself from drowning, and the straw, you know, that you hit up on the straw, and you were able to come out, you say, the straw helped me. I says, no, it was the struggle that you have been going on in your heart and mind. The struggle you put up brought you to the shore, not the straw. But now when you are trying to explain that on a logical basis, it's a look, it's, the, it's your struggle that saved you. Your intention, your sincerity that saved you. So, no, he's thinking that now you're trying to push him back into the mire. No. We are only explaining, but now people have gone through this experience and they are terrified.